All right, Preston with Frosty Hill Frenchies. Uh, we got, uh, I gave uh, some of them, I made some of the uh, the mush for them. Um, Gaia is not producing a ton, a ton, a ton of milk. Um, and there are nine babies and they're getting pretty big now. So I, uh, and some of them are three and a half weeks old. The first, uh, the first part, the uh, red, green, uh, pink, and gray. They are all Trinity's puppies that we uh, moved over to Gaia. And she's not making a whole bunch of milk. Uh, I mean, yeah, guy's not making enough milk. Okay, this guy feels pretty full. He even ate some of the mush that I had. So um, I think I'm going to cool him out. I don't want him to get too uh, too full because then they, later on, they uh, you'll hear like a bah! and they will kind of throw up in their mouth and then they'll, all of a sudden they have um, milk coming out of their nose. So we don't want them to be that full. This girl's about to fall asleep. She she doesn't get that much. She gets bullied out all the time. Um, these other guys. I was gone for two days. I had to go help my daughter move. Um, she was in Waukesha, Wisconsin. So that was like a eight, nine hour drive there. And then I helped her all day yesterday load into the truck. And then I drove back today. And I just got back. Blanca's at work. So... I'm now on puppy duty again, and they've even grown quite a bit just since I've been gone. Oh, see? Red just started. He just made that. I don't know if you heard it, but he's doing all right. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, red. Green. Um, pink didn't like it at first but then she did lo like the mush i was just i was just putting a little bit on the tip of my finger um i didn't want to give him much but uh and even uh merle boy there i think he's lilac merle um he liked it um gray uh he wouldn't eat it at all um and i think all of these did eat just a little bit except for the um the little girl here that's always getting bullied out of here so but they're not really they're not really ready for it i was just seeing if they were interested in it at all and um all of them were but but uh but like two maybe three so i'm just gonna slowly start incorporating that letting them you know just eat a little bit of that because i don't want it to um cause any issues with them so I just give them a little bit of that and then I'll let them drink some milk and and then be done with it so hopefully they're not they're, they're getting full then and uh, you know don't feel like they're starving um, because Gaia is not putting out enough milk so anyway um, we're gonna see how it keeps going and I do like I said they did um, aspirate a couple times pretty bad in the last couple of days so um i'm still gonna keep pulling them off um this was the runt and he, <laughs> he he's actually catching up to everybody now <laughs> he was super tiny um he looked like a little mouse but yeah see he's already as big as she is um we've been le leaving him on the nipple for quite a while and he's uh he's catching up and passing some people He's a little eating machine, but uh, that's good. I guess that's uh, that's the name of the game. Um, as long as it doesn't, you know, come out of their nose, they're doing good. So I'm uh, about ready to pull these guys off. And then I have um, a couple more. Yeah, Red still thinks he's starving to death. You still think you're starving to death, huh? See, see, he's starting to actually play a little bit and start um, interacting. Like when I when I pet him or whatever, he actually reacts to it now. So that's a uh, that's cool. Um, I suppose I'll put green up here for a minute. Um, he can reach. He's getting he's getting super cute too. Wait, let me see your face, buddy. 
He thinks everybody's lunch. You gonna you gonna let me see your face? All right, we'll put you on. We'll put you on that one. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that one has ridiculous milk pressure left. That's the big thing. I just don't want them to have super, uh, super tons of milk pressure, because that's when they start having. I'm all over with this camera. I did get a tripod now, so hopefully I'll I'll put that up one of these times. But I'm not really excited about letting you see my ugly mug on there, so I'll have to just center it on Gaia and stuff. But anyway. Oh, well, hey, that helps. I had everything on super zoom. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to, I'm going to start phasing these little guys off of here. See, he's already ready to snooze. These other guys are getting ready to snooze. Green's just getting wound up, but he did have a few little pieces, a few little bits of that uh, mush off my finger. He liked it. Uh, it supposedly tastes like pumpkin pie a little bit because it's, it's got real um, pumpkin, 100% pumpkin, no preservatives, no sweeteners, no anything. It's just 100% pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filler, just pumpkin. They like, I guess that's really good for their, uh, it's got like a pro a probiotic effect for them. Um, and then I had some of the Gerber rice cereal, and then I mixed up the actual kibble. So I, I put it in the blender and powderized it all. And then um, just added some uh, distilled water. And uh, so far, um, you know, that was the first time I've done it. But I got that recipe um, from a lady on the internet who also raises Frenchies. Um, I may mention who she is a little later. Um, make sure everything's cool. But anyway, so, yeah. Is it pink or that's, yeah, that's red. He still thinks he's starving to death. See, as soon as I touch him, he's like, okay, he's going to put me back by the food. Watch, there he goes. Zing! <laughs> Just pick a nipple and stick with it, buddy. Hey, stay down, bro. Stay down, sister. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to, <clears throat> these ones that are done, I'm going to have to, uh, Stimulate them so they can pee and poop and then uh, go back to go back to napping And then I'm gonna go back to napping. So all right, we'll uh, talk to you later. This is Preston with uh, Frosty Hill Frenchies <laughs>